Rotten vegetables, stale bread and a sense of hopelessness surround Ukrainian soldiers stationed at a checkpoint near the southeastern Ukrainian city of Mariupol. This is a regular dugout where soldiers from Ukraine's National Guard, along with volunteer fighters, are on duty around the clock, keeping a watchful eye over the strategic port city. They say living in these quarters hasn't been easy as the months get colder. One soldier tells us the problem with this dugout is that it's not meant to be lived in. When it rains, the roof leaks and our mattresses become wet. Some of these men are not used to complaining. They served for several weeks in one of the most dangerous places so far in the conflict in eastern Ukraine. They took part in the siege of Donetsk airport in February, which was dubbed Little Stalingrad because Ukrainian troops were outnumbered and under-equipped. Now they are left to depend on volunteers to bring them fresh food and military gear. One soldier says we are left to buy everything with our own money, boots and uniforms. The things they give us are not good for winter. The troops also showed us a first aid kit which they were provided with, which is over 50 years old, they say. But what really frustrates them is the indifference shown to them by their commander. Our commander doesn't even visit us. If he does come, he doesn't address all of us so that we don't ask him any questions. He gets into his car quickly and leaves. A few hours after we arrive, the soldier's commander finally makes an appearance. He promises us that he will work on all of their issues, but declines to answer some of our questions about what we saw that day.